be strong. Be Hello friends, I hope you all are well. Now you'll be thinking that where am I, right? I'm actually in an orchard and behind that orchard over there are actually the fields where jute plants are grown. But now you'll be thinking that what is the purpose for me being over here? The reason is because in one of my previous video I told you that I'm going to show you how the jute is obtained from the jute plants. So therefore I'm over here. Jute is actually one of the most important fibers which comes after the cotton in terms of the cultivation and the usage. 85% of jute cultivation is spread on the Ganga belt and that is shared between the India and Bangladesh. Even China does have a dominating place in jute cultivation. Well, the jute plants which I'm going to show you were sown, the seeds of those jute plants were sown in the month of March this year in 2020. And, oh, let me show you one more thing. Well, oh, this is the orchard. Over here, mango as well as jackfruit trees are there. And since the lockdown, I really enjoyed because I got to eat lots of jackfruits and mangoes. Now let's move on. So the seeds were sown in the month of March by the help by the process of broadcasting. The seed rate should be seven kg per hectare. When the size of the plant is 20 to 30 centimeter tall, at that point of time. The weeding is done as well as thinning also. Both of them done are together. Oh, I really got scared as, as soon as I saw someone. She was standing. I thought that she wanted to come over here. So the seeds of the jute plants were sown in the month of March by the process of broadcasting. And when the size of the plant is actually 20 to 30 centimeter tall, at that point of time, thinning is done. Along with the thinning, weeding is also done. In total, two to three times weeding is done. Uh, one is generally done after 20 to 30 days after the sowing of the seed. Second is done while the thinning is done, along with the thinning. And one is done in between the first and the last one. Now the thinned out plants can be given to the cattle to feed on them. Even we can eat it. Even humans can eat it in a form of sag. I've also eaten it and it is really delicious. After thinning, fertilizers are actually given to these jute plants. There is no requirement for the manures, but the fertilizer that is required is NPK and that should be in the ratio of 60 to 80 is to 30 is to 30 to 60 that is the NPK ratio in terms of kg per hectare the irrigation required by these plants are only two times because they are monsoon crops so whatever the required water is they get it from the rain therefore only two times irrigation is required at most the harvesting is done in the month of July or end it may be end or in the mid of July it depends it takes about five months for these plant to grow up after the harvesting is done 
the harvesting is generally done by cutting the stalks of these jute plants very close to the ground and then they make the bundles of them and finally submerged in, into the waters let me show you how they are submerged so this is the way by which the jute plants are actually submerged in the water on top those are the mud these muds are kept onto the jute plants because jute plants are light in weight and since they are light they float on the water and we really don't want that because we need to submerge the jute plants in the water as by submerging them into completely into water makes the skin of these jute plants rot and after these skin of the jute plants rot away and makes the makes it soft then we can actually separate the jute and the jute stick it takes about 20 days for the rotting of the tissues of these jute plants this rotting can be done chemically but in villages this is generally done by soaking them in the water after 20 days they are going to be taken out from the water and then the jute and the jute sticks are going to be separated so let me show you how it is done so this is how the jute is separated from the jute stick so let's watch it ee baba go kuch jawab par jawab nahi laga so as you can see this person he is actually separating the jute and the jute stick the jole bhara na ki Oh. Ah, over here you can see it. So this is the jute stick. Let me show you. He's doing. He's so skilled that he can do it so fast that even I can't compare to him. See what the speed. Eglo te eglo achena eru pore. So if you just skin it off like this, if you just hold it and skin it off, this is the jute. and inside it is the jute stick so if i peel it then this is the jute stick and this is the jute but it is really awesome seeing this person doing it so easily but it smells the water really smells over here because of the rotting away of the plant it really smells and i don't want to get inside this water Oh, oh. I should better get away from here. Finally, this is the end of our video, and I hope you liked it. If you like my video and find this video helpful, then please click on the like button and share this video with everyone. If you are new to the channel, then please subscribe and click the bell icon for receiving the notification for our upcoming videos. Ooh. this was a bamboo plant and actually i was concentrated on my phone so much that i didn't saw that there was a bamboo plant well i really find it funny when people call these bamboo as trees but not as plant so i am also going to show you uh, i'll give you the details on these bamboo plants in one of my upcoming videos so till the next time we meet bye bye and have a nice day It finally became sunny and it's really hot